Welcome back again, everybody. Uh, this is Glockman 4519. I'm back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is Pure Nexus's latest release. Um, this is a June 21st release. Um, just wanted to get out a couple things quickly. If you go to download um, his new release, you're going to notice there are, is only one. Uh, to pick from. Uh, now the last several versions, uh, there have been two different ROMs to choose from, uh, CMTE version uh, and then just standard version. Uh, he is no longer building CMTE, um, so those of you uh, that are Layers fans uh, can rejoice. Um, and us CMTE fans, well, uh, is what it is. Um, it is still an outstanding ROM. Um, CMTE, you know, be hell, uh, it is still a very, very good ROM. Um, so we're just going to get right into this. Um, the ROM is working great. Uh, I've had no issues with it so far uh, since I flashed it. Um, and first thing I want to do, I, I, I don't usually do this, so I'm going to go right into camera first, let you guys see the camera is working. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to try to uh, zoom in so you guys can see what I'm t trying to take a picture of. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a couple pictures and let you guys see that that's working uh, going to gallery quickly uh, show the pictures so you guys can see uh, and they are the camera does work works fine uh, I wanted to get that out of the way I know a lot of people um, kind of gripe that I don't show the camera I just don't you know I don't think that's a, a thing that I do um, you know, if the camera's not working, I just tell you guys. Camera don't work, guys. All right. Uh, there's been quite a few changes in the structure of the ROM that I found. Uh, so we're going to go first thing right into About Phone. Uh, it says Pure Nexus. It is for the Nexus 6, Android version 6.01. Uh, does have the June security patch in it. Uh, I am running Blackbird Kernel uh, only because I like Blackbird Kernel. No other reason. Uh, the kernel that is supplied with this ROM is an outstanding kernel uh, on its own, um, and it does not force encrypt, uh, so you guys shouldn't have any issues flashing it and just running the uh, kernel that comes with it. Uh, and Beans uh, 106 and everybody else on the thread will tell you the same thing. If you ask what custom kernel to run, they're going to say, why run a custom kernel? All right, I'm just one of those guys that I run a custom kernel. Okay, uh, we're going to go into developer options here, um, let you guys see what they are. Um, you're going to see uh, your Android debugging, uh, your OEM unlock, uh, that should already be done. Um, you don't have root control here. Uh, it, there is SuperSU uh, installed as the ROM is installed, so it comes with SuperSU uh, systemless root already on it. Uh, let's see here, uh, we'll go down to drawing. Uh, there's your multi-window mode under drawing, and then of course all the way to the bottom, uh, where you, I guess I was going to say you'd have your last app kill. No, I, it's not here. It's in the custom settings. So that is where we're going to go right now, is into custom settings. So if we scroll all the way up to the top, you're going to see pure Nexus settings. Um, first up is going to be the interface part of it. Uh, this is going to be where you get your lock screen settings. Uh, these are all of the lock screen settings that you have, um, your lock screen items, double tap, sleep anywhere, your torch, media, uh, art cover, um, I thought that there was a weather option on here, but I don't see it now, so apparently I was mistaken. Uh, notification drawer, these are your settings for that, uh, you have your quick pull down, uh, you can set up, set that up, whoops, hit the wrong button. Uh, you can set that up right, left, always, or off. I always use mine at uh, right. Uh, then you have your uh, smart pull down if you guys want to use that. Those are your settings for that. Uh, show weather. The, here's your weather settings. Um, these are going to go, you can set up your weather. Uh, you can put a custom location in if you want. Uh, you don't have to, but you can if you want. And uh, it actually, everything comes up. Uh, you hit, the only thing I had to do was put in a custom location. Everything was all ready to go for me. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, you have your force expanded notifications. Uh, then you have your quick settings panel. Uh, you can pick and choose tiles that you want. All you do is hit the add button. Uh, these are the tiles that you can put on. That's my neighbor's dog. I'm actually I'm I'm doing this outside. I just wanted a little change of pace. It is summer. I need to get the hell out of the house. All right. Uh, and, of course, those are what I already have on. And since this is an AOSB-based ROM, uh, it is not going to have that swipe to the right. Everything's going to be on the one screen, which I love about AOSP. Uh, let's see. You can enlarge your first row, number of tiles per row, advanced location settings, and your brightness slider. Uh, next up is going to be the recent apps. Uh, you have your immersive mode. Uh, you can go full screen, or if you want, that's what I always choose. Uh, they do give you the option to run with the search bar, although I'd like to see a memory bar on this. Um, you know, it's not there. Uh, let's see. Clear all button, clear all button locations, uh, clear all tasks. Do you have your slim recents? Damn, dog. Uh... If you guys want to run the, the Slim Recents, they are there, uh, so that is an option for you. Uh, next up is going to be status bar settings. Uh, you have your, your battery settings. Uh, this is going to be, um, if you guys want to run with a battery, a uh, three-minute mod works with this right out of the gate. So if you guys uh, have that uh, app purchased at the Play Store, just download the app. You don't have to do anything else, and it comes on automatically for you. Uh, battery bar. They do have a battery bar on this, uh, and you can set it up however you like, and you can color it. Uh, here are the clock settings. Um, they do give you alignment, right, left, center, or none at all, uh, AM, PM, and date. Uh, they don't give the option to color it, though. Uh, you guys can put a carrier label on if you want. Uh, you can run network traffic if you want. Uh, status bar icons, you can pick and choose what you want to actually show on the status bar. Then, of course, you have double tap to sleep, your brightness control, and show notification count. Next up is going to be buttons. Uh, these are your nav bar setup. Uh, you can enable them or disable them if you want. Um, a, this does not come with fling gesture. Uh, he already said he is not going to put it in the ROM. Uh, so I wouldn't bother asking for it. Uh, that was a decision that he made uh, and the whole team made uh, and it's not going to happen. So uh, here's where your kill app back button is uh, right down there. Uh, and then of course you have your timing for that. Uh, how you know however long you want to long press it for it to actually kill the last app. Uh, recent long press uh, and then of course you have your nav bar, nav bar customizations. Uh, you can go with the height. I usually like to go 52. Uh, I like mine a little bit bigger. Uh, the Nexus 6 gives us the real estate, uh, and I like that nav bar fairly big. You guys can set it up however you want. Uh, let's see. That was We already went recents, right? Yes, we did. My bad. Status bar. I uh, already did that. Oh, I know where we're at. What, listen to me. Uh, okay. Uh, this is your power menu. Guys, lots of options on the power menu. Um, I do like this about the ROM, um, along with a lot of other things I like about the ROM. Uh, I love the fact that they have a screen record built into this, and it's right into the uh, power menu. Uh, I do love that feature. Many, many options to choose from on that. Uh, you do have your volume rocker. You guys can set up your volume uh, button to do whatever you pretty much want, except, you know, have sex with you. <laughs> So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, system, uh, this is your display settings. Uh, expanded desktop, wake on plug, three-fingered screenshot, which I love. Just put three fingers on, pull down, <coughs> takes a screenshot. Um, I do like that. Uh, notification lights, these are your settings for that. Uh, this, I actually I want that to be here. That's better. There we go. I was wondering why my light was blue when I got a notification. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I went through everything, didn't miss anything. Um, one thing I didn't do, and I probably should do it now, 
uh, is I'm going to go to notification ringtone. And I'm going to go with none. Okay. And I'm going to take that down. I should have done that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> so at least now if I get a a, uh, a notification, it won't blow your eardrums out. Uh, that was sound and notifications. Uh, these are your other sounds under that. And of course, you have your app notifications. You can set up uh, advanced uh, what apps have you know uh, access to and all that down there at the bottom. And of course, you have your do not disturb all the way at the bottom. Uh, these are your system display settings, uh, adaptive brightness, wallpapers, uh, rotation, sleep, you know, all that is there. Ambient display, double tap to wake, um, nothing I'm seeing out of the ordinary. Uh, they do have the inclusion of the dashboard settings. Uh, those are kind of nice. Um, they're down there as well. And we're going to have security. This is going to be up next. Um, you can set up your security swipe, pin, you know, whatever you want. If you guys want, uh, I don't set anything up for mine. Uh, you can have a lock screen message on if you want. Uh, you can encrypt your phone if you like. Uh, of course, you have you do have a privacy and a block caller list. This is normally a CM thing. Uh, it's nice to see uh, this is included in the ROM. Unknown sources, make sure you guys have that ticked on if you are going to install from your internal storage or download, uh, you know, an app from wherever and install it. You're going to need to have that on. There goes another airplane. And uh, you have your screen pinning all the way at the bottom. And guys, that is it. Uh, that is Pure Nexus. Uh, there were some changes, as you could see. Uh, the custom settings panel was completely changed. Uh, it, I'm guessing they're going to probably throw some kind of custom, you know, uh, customizations back into that again uh, sometime in the future. And they may not. They may just keep it the way it is. Uh, it's hard to say. Um, if you guys, uh, if you like the review, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I just want to thank all of my subscribers. Um, I, I will tell you this, uh, you can't go by my battery um, usage by watching it during the video. Uh, just because, you know, I'm recording in high def, um, you know, my brightness is up 100%. I do have apps running in the background. I was running my camera. So, you guys can't go by that. Um, from what I can tell from running the ROM, um, and even when I had it uh, first flashed, uh, I went with the standard or stock or supplied kernel. Um, the battery optimizations on this are really good. Um, you know, I wouldn't say the best, uh, but they're definitely better than average. I'll give it that. Um, I say go out and flash it, give it a try. Um, and uh, again, um, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, they are starting to stack up. It's getting kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, and uh, keep the comments coming. Um, uh, if you want to see something uh, that you haven't seen or, you know, that, that you're, you're thinking about flashing and you just want to see it, let me know. I'll try to, I'll try to fit it in. Uh, I, do, I do try to answer every comment uh, that, that I get. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one.